Hi, I'm Luca Simmons. I'm one of the mavens here at Histamine Haven. We're really glad that you signed up to get our newsletter and to get that cookbook and get some recipes so you can get started on this low histamine approach. I figured out I had histamine issues. I was, I think, 42. I had already gone to nutrition school. I was away at a weekend where we were learning to cook for the GAPS protocol. One of the participants piped up and said, I think you have histamine issues from our conversation. Well, I came home, it was the first time I heard the word, started doing a bunch of research. And then it felt like a light was turned on and I didn't realize that I was standing in a dark room. All of the pieces started to make sense. And all of those symptoms I'd had from eczema at the age of six on up to the age of 42, they were all starting to make sense. And histamine was that core piece that was common to all of those symptoms. Nobody had told me I had to make the discovery myself. So now my work becomes in demystifying and making it a little bit easier for you. And you know where we start? We start with breakfast. So that's what I want to do today. I want to share with you three easy breakfasts to get you out of the gates running. It is probably the biggest first hurdle that feels like a hurdle for those who are starting on a low histamine approach. We hear it all the time from people in our courses and clients. So let's get you started. What are three options? First of all, let me say, use your shopping list that came in your email box yesterday to make sure that the ingredients you're using in the things I'm proposing will be low histamine. First up, make some porridge. Hang on, Luca. I don't see oats on my list of ingredients. You are correct. Oats have the potential of tripping histamine things. Oh. So replace your oats with a cooked and mashed sweet potato or maybe butternut squash. And now add a sweetener of sorts to make it a little bit sweeter like you think of oatmeal, honey, maple syrup. Now add a fat. That's gonna help fill you up and nourish you deeply. Maybe that could be ghee. Maybe you use coconut oil because it tastes yummy. Look to the fruits, look to the nuts and seeds. Which of those on the list can you add to the bowl? There's breakfast number one, porridge. Breakfast number two option, why don't you make a chia pudding? Yeah, chia's on the list. Chia pudding is fairly straightforward. You soak chia in coconut milk, for example. Soak it a couple of hours, and then you're going to have a really nice pudding. Add to that any of those fruit that are on your list, or any of those nuts and seeds, and that'll be a really nice, nourishing breakfast. Way to start the day. But if you don't love the texture of chia pudding, then you can transfer that to a smoothie. Exactly same thing. Use any of the ingredients on that list. Option three. Now, we're getting a little bit out in the left field, but stay with me for a second. Don't poo-poo me yet. Have a bowl of soup. Okay, before you say, uh, I don't think so. Look to how many cultures around the globe have soup as a first meal. I think they're onto something. What if you looked at the list and you made sure that you had a simple stock and then you add some meat and any of the vegetables that are on that list? What if you made a pot of soup? A warm bowl of soup can be the perfect way to start a day and will help get at the root of why you have histamine issues in the first place. Just make sure it has those ingredients that are on your shopping list. So those are your three potential ideas on how to get started with that first meal of the day. Because here at Histamine Haven, we're here to tell you that at the root when there's a histamine or a mast cell piece to the picture is a body that doesn't feel safe. So now our work becomes in building that safety. And breakfast is one of the ways that we start building safety. And demystifying how to get breakfast on the table is our work in today's newsletter. So get started on it and know that there's more coming in the emails in this next week. But reach out if ever you have any questions. We are here for you.